Hey Internet, it's me. Uh, now, I have a bunch of videos that I'm in the process of writing or filming or at least just daydreaming about. Uh, I wanted to cover a bunch of really old NES games like Castlevania 2, II, Zelda 2, II, Akari Warriors, Bad Street Brawler. Uh, and I know those have all been covered by like Bangry Video Game Nerd, Big Ol' Words, a number of channels. But I wanted to talk about them in a slightly different light. Uh, also, I started replaying Midnight Suns again because the game is actually amazing and all the DLC is now out. So there's the whole second story that's been finished and established. I want to play through that. Um, no Man's Sky has been updated for the millionth time. I'm playing through the latest expedition, so I kind of wanted to compare the game when it launched and the game as it is now. Uh, I have a bunch of old consoles, like the Odyssey 2, and most recently I got the Fairchild. I wanted to talk about those. Just a million videos I plan on doing. This is not any of those. Uh, Nintendo announced that they were going to do a Direct, uh, which was entirely about the Switch lineup for the rest of the year. And it was today, and so... That's what I'm going to talk about. Um, so, my new little friend Onyx here and I, uh, we're going to watch this direct and interact. No, wrong word. React. That's what we're going to do. We're going to react to it. And yeah, let's just do the thing. Now, I will start off by saying that as far as what I think we're going to see here, um, now they did mention they're going to talk about Pikmin 4. It's right here on this loading screen. Okay, we're going. Um, but I'm guessing Mario Kart Wave 5 is going to drop, because they love doing those available now type announcements. Um, so that'll be a thing. We're going to talk about Pikmin 4, uh, maybe Metroid Prime 4. Uh, oh, and I was going to say the Pokemon DLC, so it looks like that's a thing that we're going to talk about next. I'll be curious if they announce any, like, well, they said it's all Switch stuff. I was going to say a new movie announcement, because Detective Pikachu and Mario both did so well that you'd think they want to keep going. Uh, but let's see what this Pokemon DLC looks like. Ooh, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Also, did anyone else make the mistake of playing Pokemon Violet instead of Scarlet? Because uh, that's what I did. And man, was that the wrong choice. Scarlet is just by far the superior game. Uh, all the, like, the time warped Pokemon that you end, the Paradox Pokemon, that's what they're called, they're way cooler in Scarlet. Um, Coridon is way cooler than Mirrodon. Uh, the jungle lady that the internet was horny for is way better than obviously bad guy future professor. Um, Scarlet is just the better game in every way. And I'm very disappointed that I picked the wrong one to start with. Okay, so they've got a top knot, which is cool, because I can get behind that. I have one of those now, too. Um, looks like there's a Lantern Festival. We're getting new legendaries. They kind of look stupid. Meh. My one issue with the DLC, uh, and they did this last time around in Sword and Shields, is that it adds a bunch of new Pokemon to the Pokedex in the game, but they don't get Pokedex numbers. And I hate that. Um, it, it might just be my OCD side, but I don't like that some Pokemon are different from all the other ones. Uh, I want it to have... I know we're not going to get the full uh, National Dex, because they're not doing that anymore. But an in-game version of the National Decks, where as they add more Pokémon, they slot them in with, you know, numbers that fit wherever in the Pokédex they would go. Uh, put all the Legendaries at the end, put the Starters up near the beginning, uh, you know, whatever. And they just, they don't do that, and it drives me crazy. Like, even shortly after Scarlet and Violet launched, they did the promo where you could get a Charizard. Uh, but Charizard and Charmander and Charmeleon don't show up in the Pokedex. So you can get them, but like, the little book doesn't come out and unlock, and they don't have numbers associated. It's just, it's stupid. It's a minor thing, nobody but me cares, but I just really don't like it. I want them to show up in the Pokedex. I want it to notate that I caught this other Pokemon. Like, I want it to be a thing, and it's not. It drives me crazy. As far as this DLC announcement trailer thing, it's just very, okay. Like, it's definitely, we're going to get more Pokemon. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm thrilled. We'll see. What do you think, Onyx? You're named after a Pokemon. Well, you're named after the stone, but, you know, the Pokemon reference helps. You don't care either? Not even gonna look at the screen? Okay. I'm with you. This is a very boring announcement. And to be fair, I say this is a boring announcement, but that's partly because I already bought the season pass. Like, I already plan on getting this DLC, so they don't need to show me anything. I'm, I'm already doing it. Okay, so... It's not like, what are they calling this? Superstar? Origin? Superstars. Okay, yeah, it is. Doesn't this come out in two days? I'm pretty sure this drops on Friday. I don't know why they're announcing it now. It's it's already a thing. Like, I've already pre-ordered my copy on Amazon, and I think I got the shipping announcement earlier this morning. You know, this is one franchise that just... They don't know what to do with this franchise. Like, it doesn't work in 3D. That's been proven a million times over. But for some reason, they're not content to just do 2D. Like, they keep thinking they have to put 3D in there somewhere. And then it always sucks. So I don't know... I don't know what Sonic Team is doing. Maybe Sonic Superstars isn't the game coming out Friday. Maybe that's a different Sonic. Do I know about this one? Was this one of the ones... Earlier this year, there was a Direct that announced, like, a, legitimately a dozen different Harvest Moon clones in the Direct. Like, that's all they announced is, like, just, here's Harvest Moon, here's another Harvest Moon, here's another Harvest Moon, just over and over and over. Um, I think this was one of those... And I mean, I like these types of games. I'm a big fan of casual games like that. I am a super casual gamer. However, it's hard to get psyched for announcement trailers of these. Like, I mean, there's a big furry in there, so that'll appeal to some people. But like, you know, you're going to grow crops and you're maybe going to craft things. You can probably romance the townsfolk, but like, there's no innovation. So who cares? Okay, now this I'm excited for. I love tactics games, and uh, for the longest time I wasn't familiar with Persona, and then actually a good friend of mine got me into it, and so I gave it a shot, and I loved it. Uh, and so now that they're combining the two, the characters of Persona and the gameplay of a tactics RPG, super on board, I 100% plan on getting this. It's still not pre-orderable yet, so that's disappointing. Uh, but yeah, this was leaked, I want to say like a week or two ago. So I already knew this was coming, and I'm very, very excited. Honestly, I probably won't get it for the Switch, though, unless that's the only option. Uh, which is the same as every game that comes out, because uh, if I have the option of any console, I'm going to get it on a console that has better performance and also achievements. Uh, why Nintendo won't include achievements, I don't understand. But I love those. They give you a reason to play games more and in different ways and to just really dive into the game fully to try and go the completionist route and get every achievement. So if one console has that and another console doesn't, why wouldn't I go with the console that has the extra option? Uh, so yeah, I, I don't buy anything on the Switch unless it's exclusive. I like the idea, but I don't care about this game at all. It's just like, what was that one Saturday morning something? Uh, it was a Xbox Live Arcade game. Uh, and then Limited Run Games gave it a physical re-release for modern consoles. But like, I don't know. It never... It was okay. But it wasn't amazing. Like, I know there's a cult following for it, but it was just an okay game. It was mostly just how many 90s references and nostalgia can we cram into this otherwise shovelware title. And Myth Force uh, might just be the same. Oh, I don't care. Uh, I know I've made my feelings about shooters clear on this channel. And, uh, yeah, I still don't care about shooters. At least not most first-person shooters. Um, I'll make an exception for, like, Fear 
or something that's heavily story based because I love the story. Uh, but first person shooters in general, I don't care. They're not interesting. They're not fun. I don't play them. Um, so yeah, I don't play Splatoon at all. I appreciate what they're doing, trying to make a shooter that's more accessible and more family friendly. Good on them. But I just, I, I couldn't possibly care less about this franchise. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, what am I expecting here? Mario Kart is going to get announced. Uh, Pikmin and Metroid are both going to get shown off. Um, oh, and I bet they're going to do something else with like their retro titles. Uh, what did we get last time? The, the Nintendo 64 reveal. So we're either going to get another batch of games for that, or maybe they'll launch another console. Um... We have the Genesis, maybe they'll go up and do like the Dreamcast, or maybe they'll go the other route and stick with Nintendo and just go the next iteration. So after 64 would be GameCube. Oh, no shit! A new Detective Pikachu! I still love that that's his voice. Like, I still wish they would have got Danny DeVito, but... This is close enough, because it's just a deep, ridiculous voice that you don't expect for a Pikachu. Why is Mewtwo always the villain, though? Like, I feel like there's so many other Pokemon that could be the evil villain. Like, why is it always Mewtwo? You ready, Onyx? Another trailer. Oh! It's Mario RPG! Wait, this is already... Oh, no way! You can't be remaking it. Oh, no shit! Is this getting, like, the full Link's Awakening treatment? Oh, my God! Oh, hell yeah! Okay, see, this is what the Direct is for. Oh, holy shit! This is the coolest announcement. Uh, okay, weird time to have allergies. Uh, no, I'm not crying about Mario RPG. Um, oh my god, this is so cool! Oh, I am gonna play so much of this! I want to point out, too, that so far, they've picked, like, the games with some of the best music for these remakes. Because, like, Link's Awakening has some of the best music in the Zelda franchise. And now Mario RPG, which just... I mean, I know the Lost Woods theme is just a meme at this point, but all the music in this game is so good. Oh, holy shit. This... Okay, I'm calling it now. This is the most exciting thing happening in this Direct. This is amazing. I... I cannot wait for this. I wonder how much they're going to, like, expand and change the story. Because, like, the last one had a level cap of 30. And, I mean, there was some extra stuff to do, like hunting the frog coins and whatnot. But, otherwise, it was a fairly linear story. Like, there wasn't too much, like, exploration or whatnot that you could do. So, I, I want to see how much more they're going to build that out. Oh, holy crap. That is so cool. I know a lot of those were, like, pre-renders, but that was still cool. I'm talking over these guys, too, so I don't know what they're saying. Is Peach getting her own game? Again? Is this a new Paper Mario? Starring Peach? I don't know, you tell me. Details of what? I don't know what that was. Oh, you're so weird. Okay. Ooh, another Luigi's Mansion. Oh, never mind, dude. 
just a ported 3DS title. See, I wish Nintendo would have just ditched the 3DS earlier and embraced the Switch wholly. Like, we don't need handhelds anymore. Handhelds suck. I just want everything on consoles. If this is the game you're excited about, I'm going to be so judging you. Because you're getting creepier. So either you're bored or you're really into this. Is this your jam? Huh? I am so out of the loop with music. Like, I don't even know half these songs or artists they're listing. And I'm assuming they're big hits. But, like, I don't know them. Like, I knew AWOL Nation. I knew Whitney Houston. But, like... What is a Blackpink? I don't... I'm assuming it's a pop singer? I don't know. Bad Bunny? I'm not familiar at all. Miley Cyrus I know of, but I don't know that song. Okay, JRPGs. Now I'm interested again. I like any game with anime stylizing, uh, and I love JRPGs, so what? Oh, okay, so it's like a roguelite. It's got the the randomized, procedurally generated dungeons. That's cool. Definitely on board for that. Okay. So it's still weird to have third-party nonsense coming after the giant Mario RPG reveal, but this is at least a game I'm into, unlike Batman and Just Dance, which I could not possibly care less about. You know, I want to say, too, uh, in trailers like this, when they're like, oh, uh, your guide in this quest, like, don't try to get me hyped about the story. I don't know anything about the game or the characters yet, so you can't sell me on the story points. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to care about these characters. Maybe your story is completely contrived and shit, and then none of it matters. I mean, it's a game by Exceed, so it's probably good. It's probably not shit, but it could be. So don't, just, just show me the game. Show me gameplay, show me the characters, show me how pretty it is. Here we go. This is another one of the Harvest Moon clones, I think. Yeah, Fey Farm. It's like a anime fairy-based Animal Crossing slash Harvest Moon clone. Which, again, I do like these kinds of casual games. I'll buy the one from earlier and this one. Uh, but, you know, there's nothing to really set it apart. Also, I hate that they're doing pre-order bonuses for digital copies. I don't want a digital copy. I want to own a game. The pre-order bonuses should be for, like, Amazon or GameStop, you know, to get people to dish out the money for these physical games instead of going for the convenience of consoles. Don't take the already convenient version and also include, the, uh, like, uh, pre-order bonuses. That's just, I don't know, it's very counterintuitive. It's probably intentional. They probably want to move people toward digital so they can stop producing carts, but no. So hopefully Amazon also has that pre-order crap. Oh, more Mario. Oh, okay, here we go. I loved the first Mario Rabbids game. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I still haven't even gotten around to playing the second one yet. I want to. I have it. I bought it because the first game was great, and I'm sure the second one is too, but I just have not even gotten into it yet. I will say, Rabbids are like the original Minions. Literally, I think the Rabbids came first. Uh, but they're just... They're overdone for me. They're obnoxious, and I don't care about them. This is Dragon Warrior. Okay, shut up, me. Dragon Warrior. Oh, is this Dragon Quest Monsters? This is the, yeah, this is the Dragon Warrior Pokemon game. Right? They're talking about all the monsters roaming the world and everything. That makes me think this is Monsters. It is. Dragon Quest Monsters. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm on board for this too. This is another one, I, I hope it's not locked to the Switch. I would much rather get this on a console that has achievements. Um, I don't know, I just... It's, achievements are a big deal, but even beside that, like, the interface in the Switch sucks. If you want to, like, talk to your friends and stuff, it's not good for that. Uh, even just browsing the store and finding DLC is kind of shit. Like, I would much rather get any game on a different console. 
so hopefully this launches on other stuff. Hopefully Square doesn't let Nintendo get exclusivity for this. Okay, here we go, Pikmin 4. Now, can I say something crazy here? Uh, and obviously that's not a legitimate question because you can't answer. That's not how pre-recorded YouTube videos work. But uh, I've never played a Pikmin game. Not a one. I'm aware of them. I know what they're about. Uh, and they look really good. Like the whole thing of, you know, controlling this horde of little monsters reminds me of like a Overlord in the 360, which is a great game. Um, or even somewhat like the Horde from the Saturn or Dungeon Keeper on the old like PCs. Uh, so I'm on board for games with this type of mechanic. Like it looks interesting and fun and I'm sure I'd like it. I just, for whatever reason, have never gotten around to playing any of them. So, who knows? Maybe Pikmin 4 will be the one. Uh, or maybe I'll decide to just go back and play one of the original three, and then I'll actually know what's happening when 4 comes out. Uh, we'll see. I will point out, though, uh, that's not... That's not Oliver. That's not... Right? Oliver's his name? The, the dude? The, yeah, I think it's Oliver. If it's not, it is now. Uh, but that's not him. Like, it's a different space person. It was him in the other three games, right? Like, it was always the same pro tag? That's weird. What is this? Are they throwing, like, RTS battles in the middle of this? Hmm. You know what? Honestly, I might be on board for that. Like, that... That could be fun. So this looks like they're kind of going the Katamari approach, where, like, you rescue the cousins, and then when you go to the overworld... They're all around and doing things, and some of them will, like, say certain things or unlock certain things. So that's kind of cool. Okay, they're spending way too long on this game. Like, I know it was mentioned in the title card that we're going to get a lot of info, uh, um, info on Pikmin 4, but, like, I, you don't need to show me the whole game, man. Everyone who's a Pikmin fan is going to buy the game. We don't need all of this. You could just say, hey, Pikmin 4 is a thing now and then people will open their wallets. Like, that's that's how this works. And you'd think of everyone, Nintendo would know that. Like, their whole company is based on nostalgia. You have franchises that people love and are diehard fans of and will defend to ridiculous levels even when it's not warranted. So just say the name of the game, and then everyone gives you money. And actually, on that note, uh, all, the, all the Zelda fans out there who said that Breath of the Wild was the best game ever and are now saying Tears of the Kingdom is the best game ever. Like, y'all need to chill the hell out a little. Like, first of all, it's not the best game ever. It's not even the best Zelda. Uh, there are better open world games, and there are better Zelda games. Um, so, like, it's not... It's good. It's fine. Don't get me wrong. They're, they're fine games, but they're not the best at all. Uh, for one, you could get rid of weapon degradation, and that right there would make it a better game. Uh, so it can't be the best because there's room for improvement to make it even better. Man, I feel like Konami lately has really just been like resting on their laurels and like, hey, let's just reprint a bunch of our old games and make money that way. Uh, we got the Castlevania collections, the Contra collection, uh, now this Metal Gear one. Like, I mean, it's cool that folks get to play the old games that they're nostalgic for because people like me, like I just said with Nintendo, that's how you get their money is bank on nostalgia. But like, I don't know, man. You're Konami. You own some really great franchises. Do something new and cool. Give us a new Castlevania. A, a real one, like a 2D one. Don't, don't do some weird 3D BS. Like, give us a good Castlevania. Make like... Another Symphony of the Night, but just ten times as big. Like, just make it massive, because you can. Like, the file size on the disc now, you can make it so big. Um, so instead of using that space to try and have the best graphics, like, no one cares about graphics. 2D, sprite-based, whatever, and just make the game huge. Have, like, 50 different abilities that you use to unlock areas or traverse the world. Like, that could be so cool. I say that, and they're going to do... Oh, this isn't Castlevania. This is Vampire Survivors. Oh, this is Ben Out. I mean, it's cool that it's coming to the Switch. And I will definitely buy a physical copy, if for no other reason than to support these developers. Because what they did with this game is amazing. And the fact that they sell it so cheap, and sell the DLC for it so cheap, like, 
I will happily give this company some more money to support further development of this game and other games. Um, so yeah, to this people should buy this one just to support these folks because this is a really cool game. Onyx is interested now, by the way. So apparently, Vampire Survivors, that's the one to get him in. Oh, but the pigeons lost him. Oh, it's weird little blobby pigeons. At first, when it had like the semi-realistic pigeon there, I thought this was going to be like that. What is it, the Hatoful Boyfriend or whatever? The thing where you can date a pigeon. Uh, dating sims are weird, by the way. If you didn't get that from like my old videos on furry dating sims or the one about the people that are physically disabled in various ways, uh, dating sims are weird. This is... A, a mascot platformer, so apparently we're back in the 90s. I mean, that's not like supposed to be a critique. Um, I There's nothing wrong with mascot platformers. They're great, you know. Uh, Spyro and Crash uh, are amazing. Obviously Mario and Sonic, everyone knows. Um, like, yeah, mascot platformers are fine. It's just weird to see one being announced right now, because like kind of feels like that's not a thing anymore. Like, I know they had a uh, ukulele not too long ago. Here we go, Mario Kart. I want to say, too, uh, when they when they announced this DLC pass, they said, we were going to get 48 tracks, and they were all going to be classic tracks from games that we loved. And then, with every single pack... We've gotten a new character in, or a new track that was original just to this game. Um, so when they announced characters, everyone's like, "Oh, all the characters are going to be from old games. We won't get anyone new or interesting." But like, why would you think that? They already lied about the tracks. Why wouldn't they lie about the characters? Ah, no date, summer. Okay. Um. But yeah, like, we could easily just get a new character. We could get Pikachu or, like, anything. Like, they don't have to stick to their word. They already didn't because we're getting new tracks every single time. So, yeah. Granted, I said that, but the three characters that just showed are all from previous games. But still, we could get new ones. You don't know. Okay. More WarioWare. Okay, so they mentioned pre-orders. Um, I'm trying to think what ones I really need. That Fae Farm one, I have to pre-order. Definitely Mario RPG. 100% I need to pre-order that. Uh, I don't know what else. Like, Mario Kart is not a new game, it's DLC, and I'm already... I've already got the season pass, so I'm definitely already getting that. So, I don't know. I think it's just Mario RPG is the only thing they've shown that I really need out of this. Okay, now we're just getting commercials for like a game convention thing. You're very bad at holding on. Uh, yeah, I don't know why this is a thing in here right now. There it is. That's why. Because Nintendo shut down the Smash Brothers tournaments, and now they're trying to run their own. Now I get it. Okay, this is the last announcement. So, what do we got? Something good? Okay, so, more Mario. I like that it's a 2D Mario. I feel like we need more of those. Like a new Super Mario Brothers kind of thing. Is that what this is? Is this new Super Mario Brothers? Kind of sounds like it with the music. Actually, what this music sounds like is Smooth McGroove. Which, Nintendo should totally hire him to do their soundtrack. Like, that would be cool. I mean, it's 2D Mario. It's, yeah, it's what you expect. I'll play it. It looks fun. Not really much to say there. It's just, it's 2D Mario. It's, it's, it's the definition of platforming, basically. So, yeah. 
Oh god. Well, rule 34 furries are gonna have so much fun with Elephant Mario. Um, but yeah, okay, so I guess that was the direct. You're so bad at this. Um, I don't know. Kind of mixed feelings. Like, the Mario Kart DLC, I thought was gonna be an immediate announcement, not just a, hey, this is what you're getting eventually. Because it's been a little over three months since the last one. Last one dropped on Mario Day, March 10th, so... We're more than three months after that. Um, and, like, there's a lot of third-party stuff that some of it's cool, like Vampire Survivors, but I don't care. It didn't really need to be here. Um, I'm definitely on board for Mario RPG. That's the thing that matters. Honestly, that's my only real takeaway from this was Mario RPG. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, that was the direct. Kind of lackluster in my opinion. Uh, I, I would have liked more. Metroid Prime 4 would have been a cool announcement. Um, adding more stuff to their retro lineup, or even a new console to their retro lineup would have been awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's where we're at. That was the Direct. I saw it. You all probably saw it. Um, if you disagree with any of my reactions, or have some of your own, or there was something I missed that you think needs to be talked about, then... Go ahead and comment on it in the comment. I, I'm bad at doing YouTube crap. Leave a comment if you want, or don't. I'm not your mom. Do whatever you want. Uh, but I'm going to go. So, yeah. Bye.